I want us to take a look at one of the most famous passages on prayer that is often misapplied and misinterpreted. It's here in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. It says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. Now, this passage has often been used to say, you know, God did a lot more than I ever asked. You know, you ask God to give you a job that pays $20 an hour, then he gives you one that pays $40 an hour. You ask God to extend your life another two years when the doctor's giving you six months, but he gives you another 10 years. So see, so people will say, yeah, God has just done more than I could ask or imagine. Now he does do that. But the passage here is not saying that that's what he does. Uh, other passages like, before you called, I answered you. That would apply to those situations. But what this passage is telling us is how God answers prayer. Now, many times people think the answers to prayer comes down from above and then God answers them. But this passage is telling us that the prayers come from the power that's within us and then the answers come. Listen to this, Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now, to, unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or imagine. Notice, he didn't say he will do it, just that he's able to. In other words, he can do more than you can ask. He can do more than you can think, right? But watch what it says, according to. Most people leave that part out. According to the power that worketh in us. Do you hear what he's saying? He's showing that the way to get answered prayer is to get the power of God, the Holy Spirit, working in you. The more the power works in you, the greater your answers will be. See, and that's the problem with many Christians is they don't have the power working in them. Oh, they've received the Holy Spirit, but they're depressed. They're sad. They have no joy. There's no power working in them. And the way you get that power working in you is you begin to act on the word. You begin to believe what the word says. And when you act on the word, believe the word, then what happens? You're energizing the power that's in you. The Holy Spirit that lives in you begins to start to work in you because he likes faith. He likes love. He, he likes the fact that you're acting on the word. And when you're doing it, then the power that God's generator, which is in you. See, that's the generate. That's how God generates answered prayer. It's the power generator in you. And as that power generation, that generator starts to work in you, then guess what happens? It starts cranking out answers to prayer. So the key to getting answers to your prayer is get the power of God to start working in you.